Hey guys, my name is Shivam Kejriwal. Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while, but I have been super busy with a lot of stuff. Anyways, in this video, I'll be talking about my fourth semester, how I finally got some things right in this semester. Um, spoiler alert: I was able to actually secure my CGPA. So this semester's SGPA of mine was 9.56. So yeah, the the semester kind of paid off, and I'm gonna talk to you guys about what exactly I did in the semester, how I figured out what things to do and what not to do in order to secure. a good enough cgpa which i guess i did and at the same time i'm going to talk to you guys about what i am planning for the future there is a lot of stuff that that has been happening a lot of stuff has changed um and at the same time um you know a lot of plans i have made for the future which i would also like to share with you guys very briefly in this video one thing that is going to remain constant is my hair because it's always going to fall onto my head and i'm going to be adjusting them throughout this video Anyways, first of all, let's talk about what I learned from my third semester. I already made a video of about this. So from the third semester, what I learned was first of all, do not take a lot of different courses. I took eight courses that semester. Do not get involved into many competitions. I got involved in two competitions, one of which was really near to my end semester examinations. And third of all, for the instructors that you select for all of your courses, be very wise with them because you might not be able to stay motivated towards the course or maybe. the instructor i don't know it was pretty much my mistake but at the same time i think some places maybe if the instructor would have pushed me enough it could have been better i went right polar opposite in my fourth semester so what i did in my fourth semester was i took only the core courses so we had four core courses in my in, in the fourth semester in the physics department so i took those and except for that i just took two half semester courses one each half semester so a total of five five courses at each point of time so it wasn't very hectic at all um the four core like usually people do take an elective two except for these four courses so usually people have six or seven courses but i took only five except for that i didn't do any competitions in the third semester itself i took the pledge to never be a part of any engineering related um competition ever again So I became the associate secretary of Celestia Explorer, and have, we have been holding a few events here and there. Anyways, that's basically it for what I did in my fourth semester. So I kept the semester really light because my main main aim wasn't to learn much in that semester, but to actually secure my scholarship and maintain a good enough GPA to push it back above eight point five. So hundred percent scholarship. <laughs> but the summer. of 2020 the summer that just went by and it's still technically going on that was quite a different story because um well first of all i applied for a lot of internships summer internships and things like that at many different institutes so i applied at icts i applied at um this surf program for caltech which i didn't get into obviously um icts uh, was cancelled i applied for icer bhopal's a uh, summer internship which again got cancelled and um finally i got an internship at iit bhubaneswar so i was assigned a supervisor there and it was a long distance um kind of thing and we maintained um contact through ms teams microsoft teams is a software which lets you um you know video chat and exchange documents and stuff uh without ha- ever having to leave your room my internship project was on quantum computing and i learned a uh, heck lot about quantum mechanics and computation and the combination of them both um through this project but again i had to keep in mind that this was in quantum computing and at the same time my field of research interests as I, as have always been uh, cosmology and astrophysics so that you would probably know that if you have been following this channel um and yeah so quantum computing is a field that is very different but at the same time um later while studying some topics in astrophysics and cosmology which i would also come to um i found quite a few things of uh, quite a few ways of applications that i thought were similar to what i did in um that quantum computation project and again that gave me a lot of insight into how to actually write a review paper how to actually go about um being a part of a collaboration between a teacher and a student for doing this type of a project i had around 25 cite uh, references and citations in this paper of mine that i wrote it, it is not technically a paper as of now because i haven't gotten it published anywhere so it would be better if i called it a draft or 
more of a manuscript or something like that but yeah it did give me a lot of insight into many different aspects of actually being involved in research except for that i was also selected for this icts international center for theoretical sciences summer study program called light and beyond so it was a program on light <laughs> so it was a combination of many things which surrounded around the theme of light um yeah i really recommend you guys to also keep a look out not just for these internships and research opportunities at universities but also for summer programs uh, which actually offer you to study something anyway so yeah that's what i did till my su- summer of 2020 and now let's talk a little bit about the future um what plans i have for the future and what i'm currently doing the university has proposed an online uh, methodology of teaching as was done in the later half of the third sem- uh, of the fourth semester so my fifth semester is going to be online too um i'm planning to keep it quite light this time too but i'll take four core courses the two ccc's just like last time but is this time i'm trying to incorporate another elective because i have to cover my um course requirements my degree requirements i'm planning to take one in maths department so that i can also work towards my mathematics minor except for that i'm also planning to um give the jest entrance test um in 2021 so it it happens in february every year just to get an idea of how exactly these jest exams and all go so i have been planning on preparing for it haven't started anything as of now because i haven't had the time to do so and um one very important thing that i haven't mentioned till now because i wanted to save it for the end is that um i'm also planning to take up another research project this time a year long research project project at shrinagar university um so there's this very very nice offering from shrinagar university um that they provide to all undergraduates known as the opportunity for undergraduate research i don't know half of this video sounds like an advertisement for shrinagar university but i'm actually quite impressed by this program because i haven't seen many other universities having this opportunity given to the undergraduates so you have a pos- have the opportunity to just approach a faculty member of yours and ask them to um you know um give you with a research project and sometimes they would be interested sometimes they won't and sometimes you would be interested in the research projects they have they have to provide to you and sometimes you won't and at the same time of course you can take a, a topic that you have uh, already in your mind and just approach the relevant faculty with that particular topic and um you can expect them to ha- help you work on that and that can also convert into an OUR OUR is basically opportunity for undergraduate research which is the program under which under the umbrella of which all of this can happen so i am doing a i'm probably going to be doing an OUR under a professor in the physics department itself in the field of cosmology it would be something to do with data analysis um but yeah i'll i'll keep that to myself for now anyways um, i have already started reviewing a few topics that are relevant to this field of research and um this will last up till february or march of 2021 and after that just like how you present research papers you'll be you'll be asked to present this in front of a whole panel anyways that's pretty much it for this video i didn't intend this to be anything very a uh, spectacular or something i just wanted to give you guys an update thank you so much for watching my name is shubham kejriwal and i'll catch you guys in the next video hopefully sooner